Hey, Jason Parent here with another uh, crappie video. We're cleaning some crappies. I'm going to try to make this quick and not talk too much. My beautiful wife Erin is behind the camera right now. She was working on some pin bones for me over here. Uh, we kind of do those separate. It makes things go faster. Trying to be really efficient. Um, decided to make a couple videos. Right now, I have a lot of guys ask me, in Ohio, our size limit is nine for crappies. I only like to keep them unless they're 10 generally. And this is kind of a video one to show the difference between a nine, a 10 inch and a 13 inch crappie and the fillets you end up with and like why a 10 is bigger than a nine. Um, but it's also because for filleting efficiency, um, if you watch the other video, you'll see I use a couple of different knives, but kind of want to see, I feel like I'm getting a little bit faster at it. I can definitely get more meat with manual knives. Um, do have a Bubba uh, Elite, works really good, but I still feel like on crappie specifically, I can do it faster and more efficiently with two super sharp knives. I got a Kershaw 1270 or whatever that one is and the Rapala or Rapala uh, Signature. So if Aaron can take a picture. So there you see the Bass Pro Shops official. Obviously I have a little crappy line here for a nine. We normally go to here, but that is a legal nine inch female. These are all black crappies. They're a little bit lighter. My daughter had a quiz thing today. So they're a little bit lighter than normal. They're not quite as painted up, but that's your nine, that's your 10, that's your 13. All right, so here we go. On the 10, she's gonna hit her stopwatch that's up here wherever it's at. She's gonna hit her stopwatch when I go to the 10. So, here it goes. This is how I do it. You can critique it if you want, but I'm just gonna show you quick. I'm not gonna explain too much what I'm doing. You can watch the other video, but I'm gonna chisel through them pretty quick. Just for the sake of time. Do a flip here. Hopefully I don't run into too many bone snags. Or mess something up. Obviously we have our fish bath up here. That's not horrible. I've never done speed through three fish like this before, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, she's getting ready to hit the stopwatch. When your mark gets it, go. So once again, this is a 10 inch crappie. This one was right at 10. Again, I'm no professional. I'm sure some of you guys can probably do this better or have a better technique. This is just how I've been doing it lately. We've been blessed to have gotten a few limits the past couple weeks, which in Ohio is 30. Again, nine inches is the limit. We try to only keep them with about 10. I'm using two knives because I like this Kershaw for that cut, and then I switch to the Rapala or a Pala because I feel like I can get around those rib bones a little bit better. Get rid of the flip. Take it off the skin. Nice pretty fillet there. Sometimes this is, that's the cut right there that gives us some troubles. I'll put myself. Like I said in the other video, big key, keep your knife sharp. Keep your knife sharp and... Woo, was that under two minutes? 
You're supposed to say yes if that was under two minutes there, Aaron. Baby. Minute and a half. Minute and a half. Well, I normally don't like super speed through these because I'm trying to get as much meat off these as I can. Taking a little bit extra care with the big 13 because we don't catch that many of these big fellas. I normally clean clean the board, sharpen the knives about every 10 fish. Um, haven't been sharpening as much tonight because we have a lot of fish to get through and I'm tired. And my other daughter has a doubleheader softball game on. So we're trying to get through these things so we can go to sleep. Flip. All the way through. I just trim that off, just, I don't know, just to get out of the way. Seems to make the fish a little bit easier to handle. I don't want to mess this one up. There we go. Again, like I said, she's helping with the pin bones. I normally like to do those later anyways, rather than trying to get them out now. Put myself. This wasn't horrible. I cut in a little bit shallow on that. Anyhow. Two minutes. Two minutes on the on the bacon. Alright. Here you go. Here's your size comparison. Try to line them up. So I'll let her get straight on so you can see all those. Come on, hold it down here. Let's try this. There you go. So you can see there's a pretty significant size difference. Anyhow, all right. So. If you need tips on flaying crappie, hopefully that helps. That was just kind of a speed demonstration and a size demonstration of why we normally keep only 10s and bigger. They just seem to have a lot more meat than a 9. So anyways, I'm Jason Parent, Aaron Parent's behind the camera. Happy fishing, tight lines.